on hope you are doing well. In this tutorial we are going to talk about linkage between MATLAB and ES. So for doing this operation as you can see here we need two data files as linkers between these two softwares ES and MATLAB. There are various ways to connect these two softwares. In this tutorial, we chose to use a data file as a linkage between these two platforms. So, for doing things, first we define our properties in MATLAB and MATLAB uh, insert these data into input file and then input file uses for EES properties input and again the results of EES are defined as output file and again are added to MATLAB. So this is actually a loop and it goes over and over again to solve our equations. Why do we need this coupling? For some properties we don't have particular uh, defined properties in CoolProp or such um, softwares in MATLAB. So we need some properties from ES and we need this linkage between do these two materials. So let's move on to our code and start the process. First thing, we need to create our input file and output file. The file extension we are going to use here is a dat file. As you can see here, we are going to create our dat file with um, the so uh, function of system in MATLAB. We use type null to generate a for input and output file which are empty. So let me run it. First input file. Okay. As I run this, we can see an input file is created here. Let me open it in Notepad. So we can see there is an empty input file with a file extension of that. And in the next step, we define our output file. Okay. Output file is generated as well as you can see here. On the next step, we are going to code our uh, system of properties and fill these input files with our required properties. I will define the function. Here I want to calculate enthalpy for simplicity, of course. And the inserted properties are temperature and pressure. Let me say properties, which are, okay. The first thing here, I'm going to define our material. Here in this code, we define our material as well as an input to our EES code. Okay, these are the properties we uh, use as import. It is for simplicity. Uh, to show the process and it can get more complicated as well. The next step is to do, define the address of input file. Here I define our input file, input, and I go to find my direction of input file. I copy this path here and add input at the end or you can copy the address from properties in by right clicking on the icon okay the another one is the output they have the same path so i just paste it over here and write output okay the next step is to open these files in MATLAB and insert the properties defined to it. By this, we need to open it first, which we use fopen uh, function in MATLAB. And we open uh, that file here. 
and here as I said we are writing our properties in this uh, input file so I will write here w as it, as it as it is referred to writing on the next step I'm going to write the properties in it which is here I define the name of the input file and after that I'm going to say uh, which type of um, indexes I'm going to insert in this data file first it is a string which is water here after that temperature which is a number and after that again a number which is pressure and the other things and at the end the matrix define the matrix of properties okay okay then I'm going to close this code by F close And after that, I'm again using the system function of MATLAB to run the EES. Here, I'm going to call the exe file of um, EES, which is located in my C drive. For every drive, it may, it may be different. But for mine, it is in this pad. You should go through your system and see where is your exe file is located and your um, es uh, was downloaded okay the next thing here we need is an es file which is linked with a matlab file so for that we need to create a, an es file <clears throat> okay Okay, very simple here. We define, we know how to define a function in ES. We go to thermodynamic properties and I'm going to choose here enthalpy. It doesn't matter about the material because we are going to insert our mater material by uh, our definition. So, uh, as you can see, the name of the material is written here, which should be replaced with another thing uh, our specified material which uh, will be called by f, do f dollar okay. but uh, there are other things that we need here first we need to define the unit system okay unit system which is si here and our temperature is inserted as kelvin uh, pressure as kilopascal and energy as kilojoule. Okay, we should call them by dollars, not by um, percentage. Okay, the next part is to import our input file as it was shown in this picture. Uh, right now, we wrote our MATLAB code and we inserted our data temperature, pressure, and water into our data file. And after that, they're going to transport to this EES software. For this, we are going to use import. And again, here, we need the direction of these uh, data files. So I'm going to copy it again and paste it here. And add input at that over here. Okay. Here, another thing is we need to define which properties are inserted. First, F dollar, which is our material, temperature, and pressure is defined here. At the end, the, the results of EES run must be exported to output file as we created it. 
and for grad we need two quotations here okay here i'm going to paste it again and output file i'll put that mm -hmm. and what is the output is enthalpy of course and i'm writing it, uh, write it down here okay well next step i'm saving it here and naming yes remember to save all the files in just one folder it's just giving us the error which input data is not filled with something okay we are going to close this remember when you want to run this code uh, close EES and other EES files uh, otherwise it may cause some problems for you okay I copied the path of uh, my EES file as well and I'm pasting it here and at the end I'm going to write solve for it which uh, it will run around the ES file and after that uh, uh, it gets the results from e ES it gets results from ES and write it in output file and insert it into MATLAB as a result okay the final part is to read this data file how to read it we use DLM read function to to read our output file here output okay and at the end remember to uh, call the last uh, index of the output um, output file because uh, uh, every output is saved in the file and the last one is the updated result so I'm going to call the last one and end for our function. Okay, let me run it. Okay, here I just made a mistake. And okay. As I said, I defined it in Kelvin and DBS Kill Pascal. I need to save it first. Okay. As you can see here, it get, gives us the enthalpy as our output, which is uh, the correct uh, answer for our enthalpy with the defined temperature and pressure. Thank you for your attention.